I'm Laura Leist, founder of Eliminate Chaos, a productivity and organizing services firm. And today I wanna talk to you a little bit about what we call a daily action center or DAC. And what a daily action center is, is it's a place for you to keep uh, projects or files that you're working on literally at your fingertips. So you could create a daily action center in a beautiful box that could be on top of your desk or below your desk. But the idea is, is to keep kind of all those files combined and confined into one uh, location. So I want to talk to you um, a little bit about how we create the Daily Action Center and some uses for it. We have over the years created Daily Action Centers for our clients both in their home offices as well as at work. So what we start with is a, a very nice box that we can use, uh, typically one that does not have a lid on it so that you can see um, all of your files. So this acrylic box that I have is made from uh, Russell and Hazel and it's got about 25 hanging files in it. I always recommend that you choose a color that you really love to look at because I feel that if you are working with a color that you enjoy, uh, the chances of you getting information into it are a little bit greater. Um, this kind of teal blue color that I have used actually matches my office and it's a color I enjoy looking at. I do recommend that you use all one color. It just keeps things simple. Uh, the next thing to talk about here is that we have these um, tabs, which are actually um, called viewables, made by a company called Smeed. And um, what I've done here is this is called straight line filing. So all of my tabs uh, are on the left side. And so when I'm sitting at my desk and I look down on the floor, I can quickly see all of my tabs on the left side. However, if I wanted to have the box maybe on my left side, I might put all the tabs on a different side. So I just want to be able to see the information as quick as possible. Then um, inside some of my hanging files, I have manila folders. And you'll notice again that all of these manila folders are what we call either center cut or second position. You can actually purchase a box of all center cut or second position manila file folders. And the reason that we like to use these is because if you use the viewables to create kind of your categories of information, then your subcategories, which are your manila files, uh, you can quickly see this information at a glance. And when you do straight line filing, I believe that it is much easier to see exactly what you're looking for instead of having to scan your eyes uh, across the different uh, positions where you might have originally put those plastic tabs that come with the hanging file folders. So the last bit of advice that I want to provide to you is that creating a system such as this is really much more about um, getting a great structure in place and um, a structure that you can use. So a filing system is not just something that you put files or papers into and file it away, it's also a retrieval system. So it is really important that you think about uh, what are the words that you are putting on the viewables and the labels so that it is easy for you to not only file information away, but to also retrieve it. So again, this is our daily action center. It can be used in your home office. It can be used in a work office. Uh, we've literally just used two of these uh, exact Russell and Hazel acrylic file boxes in a real estate office where their employees needed to be able to come in and grab information that they needed for their clients. And one of the challenges that they were having was that they used so many different shades of the rainbows of hanging file folders and tabs in every different position that it was very difficult for their employees to find the information. So now they have a beautiful box uh, that looks similar to mine and it's very easy for everyone to just come in and literally put their hands uh, on the information that they're looking for. So again, I'm Laura Leist, founder of Eliminate Chaos. Thanks for watching.